In Kasparov's Immortal, Gary Kasparov sacrifices his rook, which would have only worked if he had seen at least 15 moves in advance. So uh, do hold on because I'll also show you an incredible tactic which won Gary hit the top loss queen uh, as well and uh, which would have also resulted in a checkmate. Uh, but uh, I will just show you that in a, f in a few minutes. Just hang on for three, two or three minutes. So uh, after the after the opening, this is the opening being played by Gary. Gary is playing with the white pieces here, and Top Love is playing with the black pieces here. So Queen to D uh, D2 shows that uh, Kasparov is looking to castle on the king's side, and his battery is here, uh, looking to attack uh, the fianced uh, bishop over here. So uh, after that, the pawn push to f3 uh, is ready, and you can now pawn uh, push the pawn on the queen side uh, as well. So immediately b5 by top low, creating a counter attack on the queen side, and knight to e2 and knight to d7, uh, looking creating more pressure on this particular uh, e5 square over here. So bishop to h6 now, uh, attacking that particular bishop, and the bishop takes the bishop. And queen takes the bishop back, and the bishop to b7 by top allow, and a3 by Kasparov. And now the pawn is pushed to e5, and uh, Kasparov castles on the queen side, the long castle. And queen to e7 now uh, by top allow, which allows him to uh, castle on the queen side because the queen is here, you cannot castle on the king side anymore. So, uh, king to b1 now. Uh, preventing from any of the priests that is the bishop or the queen from coming into square and also taking the king away from this dark square diagonal which is all under the control of, of white queen right now and uh, after that a6 by top low and uh, the knight comes to c1 uh, with that move also allowed the knight to come to c1 uh, reorienting the knight and top low also castle on the queen side so knight now goes to b3 and the pawn gets captured and the rook captures the pawn back and immediately the rook is attacked and the rook retrieves to d1 so the knight to b6 by top allow and the pawn push to g3 and now the king also move away to b8 now and uh, knight jumps to a5 attacking the bishop so the bishop retrieve it's a good bishop uh, eyeing this uh, rook along the diagonals and also protecting the king and uh, so it, it need to be rotated so it went there so bishop to h3 by kasparov and d5 is played now so so the d5 basically could destroy the pawn structure so after take 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 uh, you'll have a long pawn and the queen can capture it back or the bishop can capture it also creating a pressure on the on the king over here so uh, because the castle on the long side long side castling the attack pawn will be that particular c pawn not the uh not the f square so the king the queen the king is now under attack by the queen by queen f4 plus check and after that the rook now comes into action and now this move creates uh two support two more supports for this uh weak pawn over here so the pawn was not captured and instead d4 was played pushing that uh pushing into into white territory and also attacking the knight so here knight goes to d5 attacking the queen so after the knight captures, the pawn captures back with an attack on the queen. So the queen, so you cannot immediately capture back this pawn. So the queen had to move to d6 and uh, immediately Kasparov plays uh, this uh, pawn capture move, which actually opens up the game. So Kasparov really uh, calculated all of uh, all of the combinations here. And uh, here, here, this sacrifice is accepted by top love. So once it's captured, immediately the rook to e7 check is played so this rook is a uh, rook is basically hanging here and uh, here if you capture it the game uh, will be over basically so here in the real game uh, the king moves away so i will show you what will happen if you capture the rook so if you capture like this the uh, the pawn will be captured it will be a check and after the king uh, moves back it will be another check and the bishop will have to cover and uh, now a check is placed because this bishop is pinned and also it's a Fork here and the queen is gone already. But um, uh, you have uh, once the king moves away here, then um, it's a checkmate on the board. So because of that, uh, the king once this check is made, the, the rook cannot be captured and the king moves away to b6. And now the pawn is captured by the queen and the uh, uh, 
uh, and the knight is now sacrificed so you're now down by a rook and a knight and now immediately this pawn push to b4 with a check and uh, and the king cannot go back because of the queen's presence here so it goes here to a4 here and after that queen goes to c3 here but it, uh, a better move would have been to bring your uh, rook to a7 Kasparov do place that uh, later on in the game and it would have resulted in a combination uh, like this basically but uh, he didn't play that right now so uh, instead the pawn uh, uh, now the top log captures the pawn and now the rook a to a7 move is played and if the pawn is captured it will be a, a checkmate on the board so the bishop comes to b7 at, uh, protecting that particular pawn and now this bishop is captured so instead of going for the capture of that particular rook uh, you have to keep your uh, queen here because otherwise it will be a checkmate over here this king do not have anywhere else to go as well so top log goes for a queen exchange but uh, kasparov denies that and captures the knight back knight which he lost earlier he got that back and after that uh, this pawn is taken by the king which allows some breathing space for the black king and it's taken back by Kasparov's queen and the other pawn is also captured and now this pawn push deflects the king away from this particular a file allowing Kasparov to place more checks so after the check uh, the following combination happened and now the king is on d1 square so this king was over here now it's pushed all the way down the board into uh, white's back rank and after that this bishop move this is the tactic that i told you about which is an incredible tactic so the bishop is unsupported here so here you cannot capture back if you capture back uh, the game will be over it will be a checkmate i'll show you that uh, quite recently the idea here is that uh, if you capture uh, capture this bishop like this uh, it, this allows the student to come over here to c2 and place a check and the king only have one place to go and because uh, on this because this because this queen is on the second rack it cannot go up and after that the rook will come here and replace the check and the queen will have to co cover it and now it will be a checkmate so because of that you cannot capture this particular bishop over here so you, you have to look for such combinations yeah so here instead of going for the capture this uh, rook to d2 was played by uh, top allow and Casper plays this rook to d7 uh, this is a deflection tactics taking this uh, you know uh, counter attacking rook away from this particular uh, queen uh, and after which also because and you cannot capture this queen as well because uh, this rook is pinned because of this uh, unsupported rook so both of these pieces are unsupported and uh, this is an incredible position to be in so uh, these are the kind of tactics that uh, win the game and uh, because once this rook is captured the queen falls and the, paw, and the and the rook get captured and after that this hanging rook will be taken and now the rook will come down and uh, queen will get back into the game and uh, uh, after the f4 f5 is played and the king come closer allow, pre preventing this pawn from queening and the rook d2 and queen to a7 now threatening check here and uh, this uh, as you can see black king normally will be here and it came down all the way uh, to the white king's uh, position over here uh, the normal starting position over here and at this position top allow uh, resigned the game because uh, uh, because after the following combination um, it will be a, a king versus queen end game and uh, uh, which will which carry will win obviously so masters won't play that on the board so as you can see these two pawns will be hanging and after that it will be a queen versus the king end game so uh, i hope you like this particular game because it's an incredible game with a lot of uh, attacking option uh, this uh, rook uh, this bishop attack on the queen is one such position and and once this uh, rook move is played it's, it's an even more incredible position and it all started with that uh, rook sacrifice uh, earlier on so this rook in the t4 position is what started all of that so thanks very much for watching i hope you like the tactic and uh, kasparov's ideas on how to attack so we'll be back with more of such videos thank you